If you take off that dealer sticker and leave that airbag tag on, I'm unsubing, bro. Enough. Please remove the airbag tag hanging from the glove box, whiny face, and two cry laughing faces. Take that ZR1 sticker off, lol. Stupid question that may have been answered before, but what's that ZR1 sticker? What is that? What's up, Cam? It's Guys here, and today I'm going to take care of all these little things that I've been putting off with the Type R. Number one, we got to get the edmartin.com sticker off, and I have some tools for that. I'll show you how to do it properly without damaging your paint. And then finally, we are going to take off the airbag tag. As much as I'm going to hate to see it go, apparently it's not a popular thing. Are you seriously attached to it? I am. I don't know why. It's my little buddy. I've been telling people that. It's my little buddy. Oh my god. Like when you're out in the car, that's my little guy. Okay. Then, for some reason, there's a ZR1 sticker on the rearview mirror. I, I have no idea what that means. Also going to unplug the adaptive sound control, and then I'm going to take Vivian out. I haven't floored this car with Vivian in it since I got it tuned, so I'll be able to get her reaction too. So we should have a nice clean sound without that pumped in engine noise. I also have some last fit floor mats specifically made for this 10 Gen Civic, and I have a code for you guys to save some money. Let's get started. How do I use that stuff at work? Good gun? Mm -hmm. There are a couple different ways you can do this without damaging your paint. It's been sitting in the sun all day, so it is pretty warm. I'm going to put Goo Gone on, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to let it soak. I'm using painter's tape for this. It's very safe. Now that I have the microfiber towel taped to the car, it's putting pressure on that dealer sticker, just a little bit. Now I'm going to pull this back up top. Come here, babe. You see the dealer sticker right there. I'm just going to spray this. it to be pressed right in there. I'm gonna let that soak. In the meantime, the tool that I found to scrape off the stickers is this little thing from AutoZone, OEM Tools Folding Safety Scraper, and it's plastic razor blades. I didn't even know those were a thing until I watched a couple videos on how to do this. It's already hot in the car. I'm just gonna go right for it. Oh. There we go. Okay. You know, that probably would have been cleaner if I just did that, but it's okay. I'll be able to get that off the goo gun. Yep, there's goo and it needs to be gone. That's all right. Next order of business, adaptive sound control. Actually, do you want, do you want to do the honors, babe? This is a big moment. This is a big moment. Don't rush it. Oh. You are way too attached to the dumbest shit. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna replace it with a Master Chief action figure. Yo, it could be kind of cool. Is you can get the little ones up here. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, you folded it over. Where can I put this now? Cameron, throw it away. I'm gonna put it in the house. No, you are not. It's my souvenir, babe. No. Yes. No. All right, babe. Adaptive sound control time. Let's get this fake sound out of here. What we're gonna do first? Open the glove box. Next, pull this thing off. Any, any second now. Come on. Oh, there we go, buddy. Yeah, comes right off. Toss that aside. Next step is gonna be a push in right here. It's gonna come right down. Okay. My SI did not do that. Then there's gonna be four screws right there, 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 and there. So for these two little guys down here, that one and that one, those are going to actually be an 8 millimeter. There we go. Number one. And this side is down. Okay. Adaptive sound control. Where are you at, brother? That box right there is your adaptive sound control. And it's unplugged, just like that. We'll go test that in a few minutes. All right, let's take this dealer sticker off once and for all. I have nails, I could do it. Wanna try? 
Oh wow. Barely even had to touch the paint. Alright, I guess I could have just had Vivian do this whole time. I wasted six bucks on this thing. Yes. Edmar, just leave that. No. Edmar. Or just leave Ed on there. I think I earned my cheeseburger today. That's right. Cheeseburger Viv is, is back again. I'm gonna go get a softer Mike Pepper towel. Be right back. There's one right there, around the car. Yeah, I put it on the floor. You can use the other side. <laughs> oh, that's nice and soft. Feel that. Tell me what, what it reminds you of. Huh? My butt hairs? Feels like your butt. Yeah. There we go. That should be good. Let's see if this stuff comes off. Oh, instantly. This is gonna need a nice wash after we're done. But for now, oh, there's still a little bit there. You can see the outline? Yeah. I mean, once I polish it, it'll, it'll dissipate. Is it dissipate or dissipate? I think it's dissipate. Dissipate? I might be wrong. It, it'll be gone. Oh, that's nice. That's muy bien. Right, babe? Muy bien. Come on, give him something, babe. Do it for the cheeseburgers. Quiero mi hamburguesa, wey. <laughs> Another one of your concerns that I want to address, and also it's one of mine, I'm just very lazy, is I need to take better care of my cars. I need to take better care of the interior and, you know. I have some pretty awesome last fit floor mats right here. And I have a code, Cam Hill that you guys can use to save some money, which is pretty awesome. Let's see how they look. I will have more information about these in the description. Nice. Yeah, it does. Cool. I like that look. Looks nice. Let's try one side in the back and see how it looks. I know my car needs a vacuum and a good interior clean. I will do it. Oh, that, fit, that fits perfectly. That's actually very impressive how that fits. It was like a Lego. It just went right in. Now the driver's side. Let's do this. Pretty cool, it has a little mold for the dead pedal. And then it also has the little plugs here so you guys can like screw it in. And I'm just doing this for the sake of moving the video on along, but obviously I will go vacuum that out, guys. That fits so well, that's actually really impressive. I've only ever had like Walmart floor mats in my cars up until this. That's, that's nice. Cool. Now we're ready to go off-roading. <laughs> I already did once. In 2 a.m. Yeah, by accident. With Brandon St. Randy, my coworker. What should we do now? Go get me a cheeseburger. Okay, now we're gonna go for a drive and get Vivian a cheeseburger. So this is gonna be Vivian's first time experiencing the full throttle thrust of this wicked Type R. Prende el carro. Yes, ma'am. Gosh. I tell you to speak to me in Spanish more and you wait until I'm recording a YouTube video to do it. What's up with that? I was talking Spanish to you the other night. Say that in Spanish. Te estaba hablando español el otro día. I get, yeah, exactly. I get shy though because I'm I'm losing I'm losing it. I now speak it with an accent. When I was growing up, it was the opposite. I was speaking English with an accent. Yes, but how often do I tell you just to talk to me in Spanish? And eventually, I'll catch on. Just go a little, go slow. Here's something about Vivian. Spanish was actually her first language. Yeah. And somehow you don't have an accent, but all of your family members do have a slight accent. All, all, all the ones I've met. Yeah. Do you want a second gear or a third gear pull first? Uh, let's do second. Oh crap, all right. Vivian wants the beans right away. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you guys this yet. So I used to have a dog, and this dog was a golden retriever Pomeranian. 
This dog was the love of my life and uh, I no longer have that dog. I am looking for somebody with a female golden retriever and also someone else with a male Pomeranian to breed this mix for me. And I, I will fly anywhere in the country to pick up this puppy. I honestly, I'll probably buy two. I want another one so badly. I had never seen a Pomeranian golden retriever mix before until I got mine. And I can't ever find them. I just want one. Best dog in the world. Didn't you have a subscriber though that said that he might be able to breed them? Well, he was a friend from college, Jared. I called him J-Rock. And he has a male golden retriever, but that would be kind of tough for a male golden retriever to impregnate a female Pomeranian. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, first test. Let's put it in sport mode. And I don't hear any fake sound. Oh my goodness, we're in business, babe. Let's race this guy, put it on. Smoked him. <laughs> Vivian hasn't even gotten a ride in the Cobra yet. The transmission has been taken out of the car and they are working on rebuilding it. I hope it only takes a couple more days. I'd like to get it back sometime next week. There's so many videos I'm gonna make of that, it's not even funny. I might take this turn pretty sharply, babe, so uh, don't be alarmed. This is a turn? Yeah, I think so. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay, my cruise controls are off. Put it down to second gear. 3,500 RPM. focus on being in, in control, I don't notice it as much as the passenger. It's fast. Yeah. No, it's, it's okay. It's about as quick as a 2006 uh, Chevy Malibu. No way. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? I'm just kidding. It's not as fast. I haven't driven one of those, so I wouldn't know. No, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I just throw out a random car that's slow. Oh. Yeah. No offense to Chevy Malibu owners. I, I'm a Pontiac fan, so I, I like GM vehicles. One day, I'm going to get Vivian a sweet daily driver. It's going to be a 2003 Pontiac Bonneville SSEI. Oh, it's the 3800 car. Series 2 Supercharged. See? So it's a it's a discount Hellcat. I can't get you a I Hellcat now. I love you, but I will never drive that car. It's not my style. Oh, yes, you will. No. Yes. No. Babe. I'm the man of the house, and I'm telling you that you will drive that super cool car. You might be the man, but I wear the pants, so... Yeah, you're right. 
I'm wearing shorts, that's why. <laughs> Alright, so really, you thought that was fast? Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. I want you to talk to me in Spanish the rest of the video. Most of it. Quiero Some. que me hablas en español durante el video. You gotta speak up. I'm not gonna yell. Yeah, but... I'm not gonna yell! Baby, you have to speak up. <laughs> Vivian and I were actually just looking at houses in Florida before we came out here. Florida and Texas would be the best places for the YouTube channel, but Vivian is a manager for Starbucks and she's been doing super, super well in her career progression and California is kind of the spot. Actually, Seattle's the spot, but I know that's a hard no for you, so it's fine. Yeah, but as far as, as far as like store manager and district manager opportunities, how many Starbucks are there in California? There's a ton. Or you guys could absolutely destroy the like button and YouTube could push this out to more people and I could make more money and Vivi can do this with me full time. I, I don't know. Be your manager. You could, yeah, what, what? No. I think you need it. What, whoa. Are you saying the Mustang was a bad choice? No, but I'm pretty much like your business consultant. It's true. We talked about the Mustang situation long and hard. Yep. And you know what? We, yeah, it's still gonna be fun, but we probably could have gone with the C5 Corvette. I think you would have probably ended up spending more money out of pocket with that. Maybe. Who knows? Use sports cars, 20 plus years old, there's gonna be problems with them all. Just so happened that the one I bought, transmission kind of took a dump on me. I have food. Yeah, baby. Thank you. You already eating your fries? I'm hungry. You're a hungry monkey. So the last thing we'll talk about, this is an idea that Vivian and I had a while ago, and then we brought it up again a few days ago. And our idea was, for Vivian's daily driver, uh, instead of like an SUV, let's get her a Challenger because she just loves Challengers. And obviously it would be a V8 and a stick shift so that I can make content with it. Obviously it would be much better choice, uh, much more interesting car if we got the Scat Pack, but I thought those were expensive like a year ago, the first time we thought of this. The car prices now are through the roof and it is disgusting. Obviously there's nothing I can do about it but complain. It makes my blood boil. So there is, there is no way we can make that happen right now, which really sucks because I'd love to see Vivian in a scat pack and obviously make content with that, but it's, it just can't happen. I'm not heartbroken about it. I'm more upset about the housing market gig, but it's fine. Yeah. We're fine. It doesn't make any sense. When, when the housing costs have risen like 22% in the past year, but our wages go up, what, 3%? Yeah. Doesn't make sense, like what can you do? Obviously, I'm still active duty Air Force until March of next year, so I we can't move, we can't move right now. Um, but I would love to go to Austin, even though the housing prices in Austin are going through the roof right now. Probably live on the, live on the outskirts, um, or somewhere in Florida, I, I don't know. Choose Florida over Texas. See, that's because you didn't really get to experience Texas, babe. All right, that's all I have for this episode, guys. Thank you, Vivian, for helping. And uh, she got our cheeseburger. Everything's good. See you guys on Monday. We are, in fact, finally going to take off the airbag sticker or that tag, whatever it is. So the transmission has been taken out of the car. Fuck. So the transmit the tr <laughs>